Recently, I have been watching quite a lot of videos where people Marie Kondo their life. Basically, Marie Kondo is this woman who is basically a gift sent from God and she basically has this series on Netflix called Tidying Up with Marie Kondo and it's basically about how to tidy your life. I feel like you kind of have to watch it to understand but like it's, it's really good. Like you should watch it. She has literally the best tips on how to minimize your life and just get rid of things that you don't need anymore that you just think you need. I'm back home for the summer now in my parents house in London and I feel like most people can relate to this. My room at uni is pretty tidy because I just don't have that much stuff in it. My room here has the combination of literally 19 years worth of I don't even know what. I probably should have done this a long time ago but today I'm gonna be Marie Kondoing my life. My wardrobe is very full, bursting if you will. It also has absolutely no system. I wanted to fix that. I don't really have that much of anything else. Clothes is definitely the main issue. I just have one small drawer of makeup, literally like five skincare products and I haven't any books. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing my wardrobe. This is probably gonna take a while. Especially now it's summer and I have time for this kind of thing. I really just wanna declutter my life. I feel a bit more tidy and minimalist because honestly you don't need loads of stuff to be happy. Like everybody knows that. I thought I would film this. Um, maybe it will make an interesting video. Yeah. If you've done something like this or you plan on doing it, let me know because I'm interested in seeing like before and after pictures. I hope that mine actually looks really good after. Let's go look at my wardrobe and please don't judge me. Okay, peace. Right, so this is the state of my wardrobe. So up here, I just have so much stuff hanging. Like you can't even really see all the things and like you can tell from all these messy hangers how bad that is. And then down here, I literally just have so many things. Like I have all my skirts and all of my trousers, all of my jeans. None of them are hung up and none of them are like neatly organized. I don't know why we feel anxious. And then in this drawer, I have like my workout clothes, which I mean, this is relatively organized, but it's not like I can't see anything. And then, in the bottom one i have pajamas which again things are like folded but there's definitely too much stuff in here okay so marie kondo's kind of like method is basically to take everything out of the wardrobe but honestly i don't want to think about that it's giving me it's giving me a bit of anxiety and then go through every item and see if it sparks joy with you if it doesn't then it's time for it to go on to a new home and if it does then you get to keep it First thing I guess I need to do is take everything out of the wardrobe, which is not gonna be fun, but I'm gonna do wardrobe first, then each drawer individually, because if I take everything out all at once, I'm gonna get confused with like what stuff is what. That's the plan. So firstly, I'm gonna dump everything on the floor of my bedroom, which is, I guess, not the most hygienic method, but. <laughs> So now that my wardrobe is completely empty, it looks so big. Like, honestly, like, I don't know how I filled that up. Like, I must have a really unreasonable amount of clothes. Well, obviously I do because look, oh my God, I can't even look at that. Can you even see? It's like bigger than it even looks because it's like two sides of that. I'm going to start going through the items. I need to come up with like a system for how I'm going to draw. So to try and make this better than how it was before, I have these like big bins from Ikea. Obviously they're really deep. So I don't want loads of stuff right at the bottom because I won't be able to see that. But the plan is for things like swim costumes and like jumpers that I don't need because of the season to be more at the bottom just to like help separate everything because how everything was on like the floor of the wardrobe was really like stressful and I couldn't see anything. So I don't want it to be like that anymore. So I'm gonna start going through the pieces of clothes, see what sparks joy, you know? So something else that I kind of want to do is sort out the hangers because the fact that they were all like multicolor was really distressing. I don't wanna buy loads of hangers, so I'm gonna try and like switch the, like if I pick something that I like, which has a colorful hanger, I'm gonna try and switch the hanger with a neutral toned hanger, because I think that that will just look better in the wardrobe. So this was in a haul like a couple weeks ago, the cutest little dress from ASOS. This definitely sparks joy because I bought this specifically for a trip that I'm going on um, in like two, three weeks now. So I'm so excited to wear this. Definitely sparks joy. I'm so excited. Um, so this is the first thing going into the new wardrobe. I can't even like get to the wardrobe. 
It literally looks so pretty with just that one thing in it. Okay, great. So next we have this pair of trousers, which is so cute. I also bought these for that trip that I'm going on. Um, and that's just for like, obviously for like I'll wear them after that and like forever. But um, I just bought a few things for that trip. So these definitely spark some joy. I'm so excited. And I think these are really cute. I really like the beige color. So this was on a blue hanger. So I'm going to try to find black one. Put them on a black hanger now and they're going in. I think that I do want to hang trousers. They weren't hung before, but it was really annoying. So I think I'm going to try and hang all of my trousers now. Next thing. Also, don't worry. I'm not going to show you every single thing because I think I'd literally be here for a year. I just thought like a few things. So this is actually the prom dress that I wore to my graduation from like grab ball thing. It's from AX Paris. Anyone wants it? I've actually had a few DMs about it. So yeah, it's just like this, this lazy v-neck part with like sh shiring. Is that what you, I don't know what they call that. And then it's just like a flowy chiffon type thing. Although I don't see myself having an event for this. And typically that would mean that I should throw it out. Or no, not throw it out, but like donate it. Even though I don't have like an event for it, I definitely would wear this again if I ever had an event that was, you know, long dresses. And also plus I love this dress and I would, I don't know, give it to my kid or something. Definitely sparks joys when keeping this one. Oh, nothing is on the right hanger. This is really long. It's like the whole length of the wardrobe. I'm thinking that I'm going to put dresses like this right at the end so that they don't like clutter the middle part. Next up, we have another prom dress. This is from my GCSE prom, like when I was 16. This is what it looks like. It's this V strapless one. Um, I did have a good night at that prom and I liked this dress at the time, but I definitely would never wear this now. I really, I don't know. I don't like this whole like beading thing. And although I had like a good time. I have the photos. I don't know. It doesn't spark the same joy that the other one did. So I'm not going to keep this. I'm actually going to donate this. I also have Depop, um, the same username as this. So I might upload some of this stuff on there. Um, so if you want to check it out, you can. I don't know when I'll be uploading the items or if I might just end up donating this stuff, but I put stuff up on Depop all the time. So if you want to check it out, you can. Last thing that I'm going to talk about is this top. It's just like off the shoulder top. This is from Brandy probably like three years ago now. This does not spark joy and I have not worn this for at least a year. I don't know why I still have this. I don't know. I loved it at the time. I wore it for like a couple of summers, I think. But honestly, like I don't really need this. I don't know. Probably some 14 year old girl somewhere would want this. So I'll be donating that one. I'm going to check in in a bit. But if I keep explaining every single item, then this literally will take years. Like literally, like can you see this pile? Like you can't even see the whole pile. Oh my God. You can like fully see it now. Look. That's actually quite a bit of a problem. Okay, I'm gonna go sort that out now and then hopefully I'll see you when I have made some progress. business so as you can see i've done like these things which i think look really good i'm happy with everything still have like so much stuff i've just run out of like the good hangers like these are all colored hangers left so i think i'm just gonna pick a color and go with that i really don't like the look of like all the hangers are like in a perfect world i would have bought hangers for this but i didn't just, you know buying new hangers is really not very minimalist so trying to work with what we've got um it's actually going quite well this is the pile of stuff that I'm gonna donate this pile here, which is quite a lot of stuff so far, and I've still got like so much stuff left to go. Um, and this is only like the wardrobe bit, I still have to do the drawers. Okay, carrying on. This is the finished product. Oh my god. That didn't actually take me as long as I thought it was going to. I thought this would take me like hours and hours. It's only been an hour, I think. But I have only done that, but I still need to do the drawers. But I'll show you what it's looking like. So obviously the floor is a bit of a mess. These are a couple things. I don't really know what I'm doing with those, but I'll decide that in a second. And then this is all the stuff 
that I'm gonna donate all of this and that's like quite a tall pile of stuff um so yeah and then these things are things that I don't need but I'm gonna store somewhere else and then this is oh oh my god it looks so good actually so this is like her wardrobe turned out so in the bottom bit i still have a few things just because some stuff doesn't hang very well and it's just easier to see it like this so i have in this little basket all of my like swimming stuff this is like some swimming stuff and then this is like the excess like bikinis and stuff and then i have this bag which has like gopro stuff in it i don't know that's really random but i always have it in here and then i have plaid skirts and then i have denim skirts and i have denim shorts and then i have like beach towels but I think this just looks so much better because you can actually see all the things and it's not like crowded. So then up here, can you tell I'm really out of breath? <laughs> here I have like smaller tops, so like strappy ones, which is actually like so much of a smaller section than it used to be, which is really good. And then I have t-shirts here, long sleeves there. And then I have a couple rompers and then dresses. And then I've hung up my trousers, which used to be in this bit down here. And this is actually gonna be so good because I can actually see them all, see like what's going on. It's gonna be so much easier to choose outfit. And then I have jumpers and then I just have that one dress. So like this went so well, this looks so much better already. Um, I do need to sort out all these hangers, but I mean, I don't think that will take that long. Now I'm gonna work on this top drawer. So this is leggings, this is sports tops, and this is leotards because I used to do gymnastics. In theory, I should really get rid of all of those apart from like one or two in case I do gym again, but really I don't need any of that stuff, which is gonna be hard to part with because I've worn those for like years. I'm gonna try and do the folding technique which she does where you can kind of see everything. It's folded like this way rather than that way, if that makes sense. So you can like see what you're doing a bit more. So this is the first drawer. I know it doesn't look that great, but it looks good. So I have all my leggings and like workout tops, like tank tops. And then I have just like normal tops and some jumpers and stuff. And I decided to keep all the leotards because I feel like I might need them. And I didn't want to throw them away just yet. And then in the bottom one, I have all my pajamas. Oh my God, this looks so nice. So these are all just pajama tops. And then there's some trousers here. And then these are shorts and like, that's like tank top ones and honestly that just looks so good like that looks amazing and then boom everything just looks so much better This is the finished pile of clothes that I need to donate so I'm gonna fold them and like make them all nice and everything and then put them in a bag but yeah yeah so that is my life Marie Kondo I don't know why I'm using her name as a verb it doesn't really make sense but anyway I'm so excited to have this done I feel like I'm actually like excited to like get out an outfit and everything now I didn't even realize before but I was like it was like annoying just how much stuff I had that I just really didn't need like all of that stuff that I'm donating like I don't even like care like I like I'm so happy to like let it out of my life <laughs> and yeah the wardrobe just looks so much better I would definitely recommend this if you were thinking about it you know it's summer or it's summer soon yeah it only takes a couple hours honestly I feel a weight lifted <laughs> so yeah definitely recommend yeah also watch the show on Netflix because that's also really good very satisfying but yeah um so i will see you guys in my next video and i upload every sunday and sometimes a bit more because it's summer and yeah i hope you enjoyed the video comment any suggestions for new videos that you have and i will see you very soon bye